Justin and Hailey Bieber are expecting their first child. Congratulations to them. Now we can start singing that song, Baby, all over again. This is exciting news and so many questions like how many babies like how far is she in her pregnancy like what's going on what about their marriage is it still on the rocks did they fix everything i'll get into all of that and if you guys don't already know following their 2018 wedding justin and Haley they were frequently questioned about when you're gonna have a baby when you're gonna have a baby when you're gonna start a family like literally they were hounded like for years it's been going on i don't like to really talk about it because it's between me and him and justin was questioned on the ellen DeGeneres show back in 2020 about their anticipated childbirth date as well as the number of children that they wanted to have and he said that he's gonna have as many as Haley is wishing to push out. Like he recognized that Haley wasn't necessarily ready at that time, even though he was eager to start a family. But now guys, it is official. No more rumors, no more speculating. They are expecting a baby and yeah, fans call this, we call this as well. We saw the signs, we put two and two together. Some people are saying, hey, leave them alone. Why are you speculating? Like, they're not pregnant, absolutely not pregnant. Well, now we know the facts. They actually are. Baby Bieber is on the way. The couple, they posted individual images as well as videos on their social media accounts on Instagram on May 9th, 2024. And Haley, she showed off her bulging belly now. You can actually see it, like it's so visible. So now it makes sense why she was caught seeing wearing looser fitting clothes. The video that they posted was pretty cute. They tagged each other in the comment section of their post. Really, really cute video, guys. And as happy as the occasion, may be. The news of Justin and Haley's pregnancy has actually been used by internet users to make fun of Selena Gomez and even make fun of Haley and Justin as a couple. It's hard. I don't think people really are able to understand if they're not in that position. Justin and Selena dated in the past on and off and fans of Justin and fans of Selena have been praying for them to get back together forever but nope, not gonna happen. So now when Justin is announcing that he is having a baby with Hailey Bieber, people are like, you know, check on Selena. Like <laughs> one person, yeah, that's what they tweeted. Hailey and Justin expecting a baby, someone check on Selena quick. Literally, that's a quote, that's a tweet that somebody made. Some people are still even thinking that Selena hasn't really gotten over Justin completely, even though she's like super in love with her new boyfriend, Benny Blanco. I honestly think they're gonna get married and have their own kids in the future. But anyways, that's a side note. Another user said, I know Selena is crashing out. And people have also been leaving comments like, Justin is now officially trapped and it's too late, Justin. You should have ran, but now Haley has manipulated and trapped you because you're having a baby. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to see how polarizing this pregnancy announcement actually is. Like on one side, fans are all for this. They love this for Justin and Haley. And on the other side, some people are thinking that this is literally the worst thing that could happen to either of them because of all their speculated marital issues. And yeah, we just have some Selena Gomez fans that are just really salty that Justin is having a baby with Haley. And I guess what I can say to those people is, at this point, you gotta just get over it. It's not gonna happen. Justin and Selena, not happening anymore. Fans of Justin are still a little bit concerned though because Justin has even said in the past on camera in an interview that he got married and he thought that that was the thing that would fix all of his problems, but he quickly found out that that wasn't true at all. It's a journey. I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems. So could this be just more of the same thing? You know, thinking that a baby will solve their relationship problems without actually working on your relationship problems? That's the question that some critics are asking right now. I think it's a valid question just because we have heard reports about Justin and Haley and what they've been dealing with in their relationship. As you can imagine, just like any relationship, you hit hard patches, you hit rough patches, and you just gotta work through them. So it looks like they're working through them, but either way, I can 100% see why critics are asking this question right now. 
Either way though, we know that Justin wants kids badly and he wants a whole tribe if it's just up to him. But what about Haley? Well, if you guys don't remember, back in October of 2023, Haley Bieber opened up to GQ in an interview about the rampant pregnancy rumors and when she'll let the world know if she's pregnant. And here's what she said. Recently, everybody was like, oh my God, she's pregnant. And that's happened to me multiple times before. There's something disheartening about, damn, I can't be bloated one time and not be pregnant. It would be a lie if I was like, oh yeah, I don't give up. Bleep. Haley also went on to say this and I quote, when there comes a day that that is true, you, you as the internet will be the last to know. So guys, honestly, it makes sense. You know, looking back, seeing all the reports about Justin's erratic behavior and Haley and Justin's marriage issues, as well as Haley's dad asking for people to pray for them. Um, they were probably bursting with so much emotions. And honestly, speaking from experience, when you're expecting a child, you just want to tell everybody, but you can't, you, you know, you want to wait. You just want to make sure that everything is going well. And you tell your closest people first, you know, let some months pass by, just keep it between you and your partner. And then when, okay, it's in the clear, a few months have gone by, then you let the whole world know. And believe me, you go through a whole lot of different emotions. And I don't think Justin and Haley are any different in this case. So going back to the GQ interview, Haley said that motherhood is something that I look forward to. It's also such a private, intimate thing. It's something that's going to come when it comes. And it's just honestly, at the end of the day, so hilarious how much people effing care. Let me do what I want to do with my body. And you guys can do what you want to do with your body. And let's just let it be that. There's also been some confusion about how many babies Justin and Haley are expecting. And this all started because of Justin Bieber's mom. So let me explain. Following the speculation that her son and daughter-in-law Haley were expecting twins, Justin Bieber's mother wanted to make it clear how many children that Justin and Haley are actually having. Patty Mallette reposted a message from Stephen Baldwin, who is the father of Haley Bieber. And in the message it said, congratulations, grandpa, we are gonna have the cutest grandbabies ever. So of course, when fans saw babies, they went nuts. So Justin Bieber's mom literally had to go and clarify saying that, no, 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 they're not having twins. It's just one baby. She just means in general. Sources have also told TMZ that Haley is already in her third trimester semester, meaning that the Bieber baby could be here by late summer 2024. It's also been reported that Justin and Haley already have a name picked out that they think is perfect for their child. And the source said they're also starting to decorate a nursery. And they also said they can't wait to meet the baby. This is according to a source who told this to People Magazine. So guys, there you have it. It is official. Baby Bieber is on the way. We don't know the gender yet. And yeah, we just have to wait and see exactly when the baby is gonna debut. Either way, I'm really happy for them. I honestly hope that they were able to sort out their relationship issues. And I just wish this couple all the best in the future. And I uh, wish Haley a safe, delivery as well. Is Justin Bieber leaving Hailey Bieber after this? Justin is thankful for all he has, but he feels something is missing from his life. Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber had a lot of challenges even before their marriage. And a lot of it had to do with Justin Bieber's thoughts of wanting to leave Hailey completely and just not commit to her at all. It's a journey and I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems. Justin had been open about this and he really started to open up about his initial concerns regarding his marriage to Hailey Bieber. And this was during an appearance on The Ellen Show in January of 2020. And on The Ellen Show, that's where he talked about how these concerns were related to his commitment and loyalty issues towards Haley. Justin Bieber admits having trust issues with Haley Bieber. Justin expressed his nervousness about making such a serious commitment because you know, this is till death do us part, right? And he wasn't sure if he could honor those promises as a man. The weight of saying like you love somebody and you gotta stay with them through thick and thin and remain faithful, that's a big responsibility. So he was questioning his ability to fulfill that commitment. I think I was more nervous about am I gonna make this commitment 
Am I able to make this commitment as a man and be able to honor? Then in March of 2020, during an interview with Elle, Hailey Bieber, she talked about the difficulties that she and Justin faced at the beginning of their relationship because of his Lyme disease. And she explained that people were so mean, like very judgmental, making unfair comments about Justin's appearance. And they were talking about his health and speculating, even though they didn't even really know what condition he had at the time or what he was really dealing with. And this of course made Justin Bieber a little insecure and kind of stressed him out completely. I think so. Uh, I think I'd been just so afraid for some reason. I think we all as humans get caught up in this Justin, he is now healthy, but their journey together, you know, that was tested when it comes to the in sickness and in health part of their wedding vows. And after that, in April of 2021, in an interview with GQ, Justin Bieber, he talked a little bit more about the challenges he and Haley faced during the first year of their marriage. And he went on to explain that it was a very tough year. It was a year that was marked by old traumas resurfacing, as well as struggles with trust. And Justin, he straight up admitted that it was really hard to open up about these vulnerabilities to Haley because he was afraid that it would push her away. And he went on to describe feeling like he had to be very cautious during that first year of marriage. But as time went on, he started to genuinely begin to believe in their relationship. Justin, he also faced a lot of criticism in the media for being difficult to talk to. However, in one of the interviews, he talked about the challenges that he has in trusting people and his fear that people might have hidden agendas or insincere intentions. So he's pretty cautious with how he opens up and who he opens up to. That makes sense. You know, what I say, be faithful, that's a huge, am I able to do that? And so I think that was really what I was battling with. He also admitted that his past relationship mistakes had made him question his own judgment and his self-confidence. Like, am I really making the right decision for me? Those are thoughts running through his head. And he mentioned that even trusting his wife, Haley Bieber, has been a gradual process and it was filled with a lot of uncertainty. They both, of course, want to avoid losing each other and they're very cautious about saying the wrong things. And that definitely led to some difficulties in them expressing their feelings and emotions towards each other in their relationship. To address these challenges, well, they actively are working on improving their communication in therapy to prevent conflicts as well as better understand each other. So it's definitely not a walk in the park type of relationship. There's a whole lot of work that needs to be done on both sides, not just Justin's side, but also Haley's side. The feud between Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez has reached unprecedented heights in recent months, with the backlash against Haley Bieber becoming so severe that she now admits feeling scared to have children. Why Haley Bieber says she's scared to have kids. In a new chat with the UK Sunday Times, the supermodel and skincare mogul opens up about her cozy home life with husband Justin Bieber. In a new interview with the Sunday Times, Hailey Bieber, she explained that while she wants kids so bad with her husband, Justin Bieber, she worries that they may eventually become the target of online bullying. Hailey, in her own words, said this, I literally cry about this all the time. It's enough that people say things about my husband or my friends. I can't imagine having to confront people saying things about a child. So they go, how does she feel about bringing children into her extremely privileged yet public life. I literally cry about this all the time. I want kids so bad, but I get scared. It's enough that people say things about my husband or my friends. I can't imagine having to confront people saying things about a child. We can only do the best we can to raise them as long as they feel loved. And Selena Gomez is of course Justin Bieber's ex and the fact that she and Haley dated him consecutively has generated endless speculation about a beef between the women. Yeah, and we've all witnessed Haley's struggle in the spot spotlight, especially when it comes to online hate in the wake of the drama with Selena Gomez, who dated Justin before Haley. On social media, it can really tear people down. Neither woman's outright come for the other, but fans have pitted them against each other for years, despite their requests to make it stop. 
But both of them have claimed to have moved past any sort of beef that may have been going on. And they even posed for some photos together in an attempt to resolve all of this drama. But that didn't stop fans in February of 2023. This time, the feud was reignited after fans determined that Hailey Bieber was making fun of Selena Gomez's eyebrows in her Instagram story. Then there was that whole situation with the eyebrows. Selena opened up on her story about how she over laminated her eyebrows, only for Kylie to post this a few hours later, along with a FaceTime call with Haley showing off their eyebrows. While even Selena has said that there is no drama at all, the post nevertheless ignited weeks of intense bullying, with critics leaving negative comments on Haley's page and even chanting F Haley Bieber during one of just since concerts in March 2023. Justin Bieber performed at Rolling Loud and was met with a lot of hate from his fans in the crowd. The crowd chanted, F Hailey Bieber. And then shortly after that incident, Selena Gomez herself had to step in and she said, Hailey Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats. And this is what she wrote on an Instagram story, explicitly asking her fans to just stop all of the bullying. Singer shares a strong message on her Instagram story on March 24th after learning about the immense criticism that Haley has been receiving. Selena writes, quote, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. She adds, quote, I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. After Selena did that, Haley thanked Selena for speaking out and later writing on her Instagram that she had experienced some of the saddest, hardest moments of her life and that her mind and emotions have been fragile because of all of this drama. Hailey Bieber is thanking Selena Gomez for coming to her defense. She shared, I want to thank Selena for speaking out as her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. So it seems like they've been talking for a while. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. She finished by saying things can always be taken out of context text or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. And just like that, it's done. Hailey Bieber also went on to tell the Sunday Times how people's assumptions had influenced her decisions to publicly discuss the mini stroke that she suffered in 2022. She said this, sometimes I do just want to curl up and be a hermit. Like, if this is how people feel, maybe I should just stay home. But I'm really not that kind of person. And then again, on the topic of having children, Haley also added this, we can only do the best we can to raise them as long as they feel loved and safe. Now, before this interview happened, she actually had to dispel some pregnancy rumors that followed her appearance at the 2022 Grammys. The media had thought that she was pregnant back then and started this whole rumor mill going. Now, expressing her frustration, she promptly responded in the comments section of a Radar Instagram post stating, I'm not pregnant, leave me alone, in response to suggestions that her gown indicated that she was pregnant. Leave me alone at this point. I'm minding my business. I don't do anything. I don't say anything. Leave me alone, please. Enough time has gone by where it's valid to leave me alone. I beg of you, truly. That's my only request. Leave me alone. Be miserable somewhere else, please. But in the end, if and when the Biebers do choose to start a family, well, she will reveal the news on her own terms and on her own timeline. And we just really hope that they, the child, 
is not subjected to this whole online bullying because they are an innocent party in this. There whole. have been some reports suggesting that Justin Bieber is actually considering early retirement from the music industry. And it looks like it has a whole lot to do with the drama between his wife, Hailey Bieber, and Selena Gomez, as well as, of course, his overall well being. Justin Bieber is reportedly considering retirement from the music industry as he wants to focus on his health and his marriage with his wife, Hailey Bieber. But it's still has many people wondering what could it specifically be that caused such a sudden and unexpected decision. In early 2023, Justin Bieber, he sold the rights to every song that he's released or had interest in up until the end of 2021. And he sold it for $200 million to Hypnosis, which is a music IP investment fund. This includes more than 290 titles released before the end of 2021, publishing copyrights and master recordings. And the founder of Hypnosis shared it's among the biggest deals ever made for an artist under the age of 70. Justin's longtime manager, Scooter Braun, helped broker the deal and said in part, for 15 years, I've been grateful to witness this journey. So he definitely doesn't have to worry about earning money at this point. And also him retiring may have to do with what various sources are saying about him, which is that Justin may be feeling a great deal of pressure and stress related to his career in music and that this pressure may be taking a toll on his mental and physical health. He's apparently retiring because he's very stressed out at the moment. His marriage is in trouble and so is his health. Some sources suggest that Justin Justin is simply tired of the constant demands and expectations that come with being a successful musician and that he's eager to step away from the limelight and focus on his personal life for a while. And while he's achieved a whole lot of success and acclaim in his career, it's possible that his success came at a great cost to his overall health. On top of that, he has said that he thought getting married to Hailey Bieber would fix all of his troubles, but he was wrong about that. It's a journey and I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems wow. and it didn't. And in recent years, he's been open about his struggles with his health, specifically when he was diagnosed with a condition known as Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which partially paralyzed his face for a short time. Now, of course, it's also possible that there are some other factors at play and Justin has faced his fair share of online harassment as well as bullying. And it particularly stems in his relationship with Hailey Bieber. A lot of his fans want to see him with his ex, Selena Gomez. Justin Bieber recently surprised fans at the Rolling Loud Festival and went on stage with Don Tolliver. And please just take a listen at what some people started chanting in the crowd. And not too long after Justin Bieber sold his catalog of music, the drama with his wife Hailey Bieber and his ex Selena Gomez took a turn for the worse going viral on social media all over again. The drama between these three and Kylie Jenner has been nonstop ever since people thought that Hailey and Kylie were making fun of Selena Gomez and her eyebrows. And Hailey Bieber took to Instagram to share a lot of her struggles and saying that this has actually been a very hard time for her. Hailey Bieber expressed that she often uses humor to mask her true feelings as it can be easier than admitting that she's actually struggling. She first shared this video to her Instagram stories saying this is how my mental state feels after the last month and a half. Haley has said that her mind and emotions have been fragile. So with all of this going on, it's no surprise that JB would call it quits on his music career to support his wife Haley and focus on himself. Body language can reveal a lot. In this case, it might be too much. Apparently a body language expert revealed Justin and Haley's relationship may be on the rocks. Do I annoy you? Do you annoy me? Yeah. I think I, we probably both annoy each other. Right from the beginning of their union, Justin and Haley Bieber faced off against the outside world. There were a lot of people who had doubts about their connection. Some were upset by Justin's previous relationship with Selena Gomez, while others said Haley was scheming to win Justin's heart and was only waiting for the right opportunity to strike. They've proven to be steadfast in the face of doubters, or have they? According to a body language expert, their picture-perfect couple performance could be a front. After shocking everyone by tying the knot in 2018, the couple 
Hale has been avoiding divorce rumors ever since. Haley thought enough was enough in March 2024 and sent out a PSA to everyone who had been believing the rumors. Just FYI, the stories and constant blind items I see on TikTok are 100% of the time wrong, made out of thin air, come from the land of delusion, she penned on Instagram. So I know it may be fun feeding into these stories, but just know they're always false. XX, sorry to spoil it. People were informed by a source that everything is good between the two. There's no divorce and no truth to that whatsoever, they assured. They are very, very happy. But chatter is cheap, as we are all aware. The Bieber's cutesy public image may be an act, as Nicole Moore, a celebrity love coach and body language specialist, hinted in an exclusive interview with Nikki Swift, implying that their marriage may not be as solid as it seems. It's said that a couple who works things out together stays together, but Justin and Haley don't seem to be in that situation. Nicole Moore claims that when Justin and Haley disagree, his natural reaction is to ignore her and display his aggression in a submissive manner. This is demonstrated in a video where Justin appears to slam the car door in Haley's direction. In this clip, Justin really appears to be in his own world and operates almost as if Haley doesn't exist. When Justin gets out of the car, he slams the door in Haley's face and walks aggressively forward with his head tilted downward and his lips pursed shut. More observed. His body language communicates anger and unhappiness, and it appears as if he's so consumed by his emotions that he doesn't even realize Haley is behind him when he slams the door on her. However, Haley attempted to maintain her composure, as if she knew that everyone was watching them. She seemed unfazed, although Moore speculates that this could be just that she is accustomed to ignoring this type of behavior. Interestingly, Haley exits the car in a relaxed manner with a calm face, her body language indicating that she's not surprised by his behavior and perhaps used to it, she explained. Based on the couple's body language in this clip, it's possible that when Justin is feeling emotional, he unintentionally ignores Haley or keeps her at a distance. Justin Bieber doesn't seem to be affected by his emotions the way Haley Bieber is. Nicole Moore, though, seems to think he's a hot mess in comparison to his normally laid-back wife. His emotions are erratic and uncontrollable, even when engaging in seemingly little hobbies like gaming. An example might be a bonding session in an arcade during which Haley beat Justin, causing him to lose his cool. Baby, I wasn't trying! I beat you, accept it! Really, Justin? It's only a game, so why the outburst? In this clip, we can't see Haley, but from her tone of voice, it appears she's jovial and teasing Justin while he's angry and yelling aggressively at her. It's clear from this clip that there's a big emotional disconnect between Justin and Haley. Moore pointed out in her chat with Nikki Swift. Justin appears to be overwhelmed by his anger in this clip as he buries his hands into his face, indicating anger or shame. The fact that Justin is this upset over an arcade game is concerning as it indicates that he may lack emotional control. Even though Justin Justin was kidding, his actions over a straightforward game are nevertheless somewhat concerning. Justin Bieber is completely indifferent to the impression that his actions as a husband leave. Even with cameras and admirers nearby, he was seen behaving hostilely towards Haley Bieber for the upteenth time. While Haley maintained her composure, Justin appeared to be yelling at her on a 2021 trip to Las Vegas. In this clip, Justin's body language once again demonstrates anger and aggressiveness. He's moving his head close to Haley's as he screams and emphatically moves his arms up and down to prove his point to Haley, Nicole Moore noted. Haley once again demonstrates calmer body language as she walks alongside Justin. She mostly keeps her body and face turned forward and turns her head towards Justin just for one second as he's screaming at her before turning her face forward again. Moore believes that this can only indicate one of two things. Either Haley has become numb to her husband's pranks or she is immune to them. Both options aren't quite good. According to Moore, her body language here demonstrates that she either doesn't care that much about what Justin has to say in the moment or she's so used to his outburst that his aggression in this moment doesn't phase her. Their marriage might not last if Justin Bieber continues to let his emotions run wild. Of course, unless Haley Bieber continues to support him. Nicole Moore asserts that Justin's erratic emotions are the main reason behind the couple's ongoing push and pull behavior, which is a sign of underlying stress. As Moore put it, it's concerning that Justin appears to forget about Haley sometimes when he's feeling emotional, and at other times he dumps his feelings onto her. She also said that it's concerning that Haley seems to be letting everything go. It's also just as concerning that Haley seems to not react strongly to his behavior as typically one does have a strong emotional response when being ignored or when experiencing aggression from another person. In most relationships, it's admirable to be the level-headed, emotionally stable one, but Haley's situation makes this trait disadvantageous. If she wants a strong, happy marriage, she just can't stop him from using her as his emotional target. It might actually be a bad thing as it could indicate that she has become desensitized to Justin's behavior and now she brushes it off or laughs it off as a defense mechanism, Moore said. According to Nicole Moore, Justin Bieber's 
Joseph's public hostility towards Haley may possibly have its roots in his annoyance at the unnecessary attention of paparazzi. Moore noted that even if this is the case, Justin should exercise caution to avoid making his wife the object of his outburst, especially when she has done nothing wrong. Many celebrities do experience irritation at being constantly hounded by people and paparazzi, and Justin appears to be one of them. So it's possible that the reason Haley doesn't react to his public outbursts is that she knows Justin's aggression is really toward the public and not toward her, Moore wrote. Either way, it's concerning that Justin doesn't exercise emotional restraint when speaking to Haley, and he appears to unload his emotions on her. Ultimately though, what's truly concerning is that Justin doesn't seem to care that he's acting aggressively towards Haley in public, which is one of the most peculiar aspects of their relationship. Their flawless social media persona is completely destroyed by this alone. According to Moore, in general, most couples try to behave better in public than they do in private, so the fact that Justin has shown aggression towards Haley so many times in public is concerning, and it may mean that things are actually worse than they appear. Congratulations to Haley Bieber. If you haven't heard, she is pregnant and having a mini Bieber baby. We are so happy for them. Today we have yet another situation, as per usual. Pregnant. We're gonna dive in today to talk about why Haley hid her pregnancy for almost six months. And she almost ended up hiding it till the very end. It wasn't hard to keep baby Bieber under wrap. Haley Bieber shared an interview that she hid her pregnancy for six months because her bump stayed small for a very long time. Haley told W Magazine in a cover story published that she probably could have hid the news until the very end. She added, I didn't have a belly really when I was six months pregnant, which was when I announced it, I was able to wear big jackets and stuff. However, Haley didn't enjoy the stress of not being able to enjoy her pregnancy outwardly. She recalled, I felt like I was hiding this big secret and it didn't feel good. I wanted the freedom to go out and live my life. There were so many breakup rumors going around about her and Justin, but it turns out they were false. He is so handsome. <laughs> it was just two new parents probably navigating a lot of stress, trying to balance a pregnancy and the media trying to stir stuff up. I can totally understand why a celebrity would want to hide their pregnancy. The media can be intrusive, paparazzi can be mean, and some people just really need privacy when they're starting a new family. Haley and her husband Justin Bieber announced in May 2024 that they were starting a family. Haley debuted her budding baby belly in photos from her and Justin's vow renewal in Hawaii. The couple has been married since September 2018, and the expectant star is soaking in their time together before becoming a party of three. In the interview, Haley said, in the beginning of the pregnancy, it was super emotional for me. Like, I love this human so much. How can I possibly bring someone else into this? Haley admitted that she is not super close with her family and instead feels very independent. She said, I'm my own individual now and I've built my own family. Haley explained that her distance from her family came after starting out as a model at just 17 years old and moving to New York City. She said, I started traveling the world, making my own money, I got my own apartment and had to learn how to live on my own. That quickly pushed me into adulthood. Haley recalled growing up with her famous family and that she had a fairly normal childhood, though she always recognized it was different. Before her little one arrives, Haley detailed her pregnancy symptoms to W, joking that she wants to change the name of morning sickness. She went on to say that the internet is a scary place for a pregnant woman. She explained, saying, you see so many stories, traumatic birth stories, traumatic experiences, and I don't think that's very real, but I don't want to scare myself. Haley's dad, Stephen Baldwin, posted his excitement at becoming a grandfather, writing in the comment section, love you guys, bless beyond words, praise God, let's get ready to have some fun, y'all. With all of that being said, it's so exciting to hear their new venture as parents. They're definitely gonna have the sweetest little family. I wish them health, happiness, peace, and a beautiful life together. There have been some reports suggesting that Justin Bieber is actually considering early retirement from the music industry, and it looks like it has a whole lot to do with the drama between his wife, Hailey Bieber, and Selena Gomez, as well as, of course, his overall well-being. Justin Bieber is reportedly considering retirement from the music industry, as he wants to focus on his health and his marriage with his wife Hailey Bieber. But it still has many people wondering what could it specifically be that caused such a sudden and unexpected decision. In early 2023, Justin Bieber, he sold the rights to every song that he's released or had interest in up until the end of 2021 and he sold it for $200 million to Hypnosis, which is a music IP investment fund. This includes more than 290 titles released before the end of 2021, publishing copyrights and master recordings. And the founder of Hypnosis shared, it's a 
among the biggest deals ever made for an artist under the age of 70. Justin's longtime manager, Scooter Braun, helped broker the deal and said in part, for 15 years I've been grateful to witness this journey. So he definitely doesn't have to worry about earning money at this point. And also him retiring may have to do with what various sources are saying about him, which is that Justin may be feeling a great deal of pressure and stress related to his career in music and that this pressure may be taking a toll on his mental and physical health. He's apparently retiring because he's very stressed out at the moment. His marriage is in trouble and so is his health. Some sources suggest that Justin is simply tired of the constant demands and expectations that come with being a successful musician and that he's eager to step away from the limelight and focus on his personal life for a while. And while he's achieved a whole lot of success and acclaim in his career, it's possible that his success came at a great cost to his overall health. On top of that, he has said that he thought getting married to Hailey Bieber would fix all of his troubles, but he was wrong about that. It's a journey and I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems wow. and it didn't. And in recent years, he's been open about his struggles with his health, specifically when he was diagnosed with a condition known as Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which partially paralyzed his face for a short time. Now, of course, it's also possible that there are some other factors at play and Justin has faced his fair share of online harassment as well as bullying. And it particularly stems in his relationship with Hailey Bieber. A lot of his fans want to see him with his ex, Selena Gomez. Justin Bieber recently surprised fans at the Rolling Loud Festival and went on stage with Don Tolliver. And please just take a listen at what some people started chanting in the crowd. And not too long after Justin Bieber sold his catalog of music, the drama with his wife Hailey Bieber and his ex Selena Gomez took a turn for the worse going viral on social media all over again. The drama between these three and Kylie Jenner has been nonstop ever since people thought that Hailey and Kylie were making fun of Selena Gomez and her eyebrows. And Hailey Bieber took to Instagram to share a lot of her struggles and saying that this has actually been a very hard time for her. Hailey Bieber expressed that she often uses humor to mask her true feelings as it can be easier than admitting that she's actually struggling. She first shared this video to her Instagram stories saying this is how my mental state feels after the last month and a half. Haley has said that her mind and emotions have been fragile so with all of this going on it's no surprise that JB would call it quits on his music career to support his wife Haley and focus on himself. I dealt with a lot of body shaming this year and uh -huh. I've never experienced that before wow. um, because I don't care about that stuff, but I did start gaining weight. Man, that, that hurt. They're calling her fat and are just making a whole lot of judgments and assumptions about her. Selena Gomez, of course, she is a well-loved singer and actor, but despite her achievements, Selena has faced a whole lot of challenges due to her struggle with lupus, which is an autoimmune disease that threatened her career. Now, there's a TikTok clip that Hailey Bieber had posted alongside models Kendall Jenner and Justine Skye, and it was believed by some users to actually be aimed at Selena Gomez. But the video is now deleted, but it featured the audio saying, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. This was posted at the same time when Selena was being bullied for her paparazzi pictures, which were taken at an angle that showed her weight gain. The clip, of course, went viral and it reached Haley, who actually denied that it was actually directed to anyone. She explained this, and I quote, we were just having a girl's night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. But a lot of people don't believe that. People are just so unconvinced. They say that this actually referred to online bullying that was directed at Selena's weight fluctuation. 
So Selena addressed the issue about the TikTok saying this, it's okay, I don't let these things get me down, be nice to everyone. Selena has been really open about her physical and emotional challenges that she has faced, including weight fluctuation resulting from her medication. I tend to hold a lot of water weight and that happens very normally. And then when I'm off of it, I tend to, to kind of lose weight Really, guys. <laughs> Selena even had to undergo a kidney transplant with her friend Francia Riza, who donated a kidney to her. The heavy doses of medication that Selena had been taking resulted in significant weight gain for her, as well as a lot of physical and emotional stress. Her fans and loved ones have been really, really supportive of her following her lupus diagnosis, but as you could imagine, some sections of social media were very critical and were trolling her because of her appearance. Selena also made a broad address to all of the haters saying this. Not a model, never will be. And I think they're awesome, mind you. I just, I definitely am definitely not that. So uh, that's it. This is getting a little too <laughs> much, but I just wanted to tell you I love you guys um, and thanks for supporting me and understanding. And if not, go away, because honestly, I, I don't believe in shaming people for body or anything. She emphasized that her health and well-being were more important than her outward appearance and her priority was to recover completely and resume her life as normal. I would much rather be healthy and take care of myself and my medications are important and I believe in they are what helps me. So as we see, haters are always gonna have something to say and much respect to Selena Gomez for being such a boss about this whole drama. After hearing about the bullying and body shaming that Selena Gomez was receiving, Jennifer Lopez went right away to Instagram and she actually unfollowed Hailey Bieber. JLo is actually one of Selena's biggest musical idols and Selena Gomez is someone who JLo has said reminds her a lot of herself. Selena and Taylor Swift, have been genuine friends for years and they come to each other's defense all the time. Taylor Swift had defended her best friend Selena Gomez after the release of her song Lose You to Love Me and called the song a win for Selena Gomez. Taylor defended Selena after many were accusing her of being enamored with Justin Bieber and this followed the debut of her song Lose You to Love Me. But Taylor Swift, she said that no, the song is definitely a fantastic illustration of healing and that it's definitely a big triumph for Selena Gomez. And then when the song was actually released, Hailey Bieber at the time apparently responded by posting the song, I'll Kill You. Hailey wants everyone to know that her posting that Summer Walker song was just a mere coincidence and not a response at all. Jeffree Star also came out as a Selena Gomez supporter. He actually went as far as dragging Hailey Bieber's skincare brand. He actually threw her skincare in the bin after he received the package. And Jeffree Star also said that there is no bullying allowed in his house. And he even called Hailey Bieber a Nepo baby who uses daddy's money. Lady Gaga has also been one of the many celebrities to support Selena Gomez. In a TikTok video where Selena accidentally over laminated her eyebrows, or at least joked about it. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. She compares herself to Bella Hadid, saying that she wished she was as beautiful as the model herself. But Lady Gaga decided to show a whole lot of love to Selena Gomez and said this, You look and are beautiful inside and out and one of my favorite ladies alive. Then there was Pia Mia, who's actually one of the first celebrities within the Kardashian-Jenner circle of friends to actually show a lot of support for Selena Gomez. Although she hasn't necessarily addressed the situation with Hailey Bieber overtly, well, she's made some makeup videos with Selena Gomez's remix of Calm Down in the background. And then there's a whole lot of fans who were speculating whether or not she was throwing some shade following Hailey Bieber 
Bieber's Instagram story with the same song Calm Down in the background but without Selena's feature. Jordan Woods is another celebrity and she was one of Kylie Jenner's best friends but she is now team Selena for sure. In a video posted to her Snapchat, Jordan was putting on some lip liner and she said that she loved it and then everybody noticed that it was Rare Beauty which is Selena Gomez's makeup brand. The singer songwriter Mooney Long also shared a video on TikTok and she did it to show support for Selena Gomez. In the TikTok, she sings along with Selena Gomez's hit track, who says with the caption, Selena. I wouldn't wanna be anybody else. Hey. And Jennifer Stone showing support for Selena didn't come as a surprise because they were both on Wizards of Waverly Place together. In a TikTok video, she posted herself lip syncing to an audio of Jamie Lee Curtis telling people to keep their mouths shut in a nutshell. People should shut the f up, back the f off, and let this woman just shine her light. In the midst of the ongoing drama, Selena's fans have showed their support for her and have accused Hailey Bieber of bullying Selena, leading to the label of Mean Girl for Hailey Bieber. Fans believe that Hailey Bieber made a very derogatory comment about Selena Gomez's weight in a TikTok video. The controversy started when Selena posted pictures of herself in a bikini during a vacation that she took, and some people on the internet were criticizing her for her weight gain. And then shortly after, after that, Hailey Bieber posted a TikTok video of herself, Kendall Jenner, and Justine Skye lip syncing to the audio. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. So many of Selena's fans interpreted this video as a dig at Selena, but Hailey denied that the TikTok video was aimed at anyone in particular. It was just made for fun, she says. There was another incident where Selena posted a TikTok video in which she joked that she had laminated her eyebrows too much. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. This is where Kylie Jenner enters the chat. She posts this pic on her story with the text right above her eyebrows that says, this was an accident. She then posts this screenshot of her and Hailey FaceTiming with both of their eyebrows in the shot. Of course, TikTok jumped on this and users started making videos speculating that Kylie and Hailey were shaving Selena. But Kylie ended up denying that she was mocking Selena and said that fans were making a big fuss over nothing. And Selena Gomez actually stepped in on this one and she replied directly to Kylie. Kylie Jenner and agreed with her comment and she said that she was also a fan of Kylie's. Another big moment was when Hailey Bieber appeared to insult Taylor Swift who Selena Gomez is best friends with. Back in the 2018 episode of Drop the Mic, Hailey made a gagging motion in response to the mention of Taylor Swift's album. Full of the meanest lyrics about a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> Hailey Bieber also faced a whole lot of accusations of racism when a TikToker reposted her old tweets containing xenophobic and racist statements. The tweets, mostly from 2012 and 2013, including one that said, shut up before I smack you back to your own country. She said, shut up before I smack you back to your own country. Then down here, she said, leaving to Florida white, but coming back to NY a different race. Then she said down here, to those foreigners who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday. Up here she said, or whatever that ugly N-word name is, she said, life makes more sense when you're tan. In another TikTok video, there was one user by the name of Kimona Elizabeth who claimed that Haley was her middle school bully. In a follow-up video, she stated that she was in the fifth grade when Haley was in the sixth grade and she got bullied by her. I was in fifth grade, Haley was in sixth. She bullied me. Middle school is full of kids who are either the bullies or the bullied. Unfortunately, I was the bullied and for that year, Haley was my bully. Kimona, she clarified that she wasn't seeking an apology or anything like that, and she was not doing this for clout, but this definitely added to the whole image of Haley Bieber being seen as a mean girl. There was also some more accusations thrown at Haley Bieber by Selena Gomez fans, saying that she actually stalked Justin Bieber and took him from Selena. 
they were not in a relationship at that time. Throughout Justin's on and off relationship with Selena Gomez, Haley was accused of stalking Justin by fans. Some fans pointed to a resurfaced photo showing Haley posing with a magazine featuring Justin and Selena on the cover with the headline that reads, why Selena knows she won't marry Justin. And another video of Haley lurking in the background while Justin posed with fans back in 2012. So although there is no concrete evidence that she deliberately sought out to steal Justin from Selena, fans still question her motives. Like, why are you doing so close up to Justin? They were not in a relationship at that time. And finally, Selena Gomez's fans have accused Hailey Bieber of copying Selena's tattoos as well as her business ventures. Anytime I get inspired by something, I always twist it and make it my own. For instance, fans have pointed out that both Selena and Hailey have tattoos of the letter G behind their ears. And Hailey has a tattoo of a J on her ring finger to honor her husband, which critics note is very similar to the ring that Selena wore while dating Justin. Also, fans have pointed out that Haley launched a cooking show online and a skincare line within years of Selena hosting her own cooking show and launching Rare Beauty, which is her makeup line.